Hello, so uh, really nice to meet you all. Um, the idea is that we wanted to share with you our uh, vision for the future of mobility. So um, this is not only an autonomous car, it's uh, a glance of what could be the future of mobility. Uh, the first thing is that if you uh, took a step back about our current mobility, you might notice that we are more and more in cities that we are still using one vehicle per person and that uh, our car, we actually use it maybe one, two hours per day. So there is something which is not efficient in that sense when you look at it. And so with uh, the MBTech and ACA technology, we wanted to offer something quite new and to propose something uh, that could be the future of mobility. So this vehicle here, you, you, you will see is in a kind of valet parking mode, so uh, it, uh, it enables, uh, I mean, for example, I can pull it and, and the vehicle uh, must, must come. So uh, the idea is that I just pull it like with my hand right now, but it could be with a smartphone or whatever, and the vehicle is able to notice that and to come to me uh, to grab me. And the idea is that What's important today is that this vehicle is running inside a building. So, I mean, there is no trick with GNSS or stuff like that because it's not possible inside a building. So it's really uh, only with its own sensors that it, that it is able to grow. So something interesting, as I said, is that it's not only a autonomous car, it's a car that is electric too, and that is driven by wire. So we have tried to minimize uh, all the mechanical parts and movements in the vehicle in order to be efficient in terms of consumption and in order to be efficient in, in, uh, in terms of weight. So the idea is that uh, the vehicle is able to, to detect me <laughs> and to stop um, and the vehicle is able to be driven only by a computer. So if you look at the suspension here, they are directional, so they are rotating around uh, their own axis, so it's the full, uh, full suspension that turns around its axis in order to uh, like provide the direction to the vehicle. At the back you have some uh, electric engines that are directly plugged on the wheel axis, and so it enables to have like a lot of space inside the vehicle, you will, you will see it. It's a small car, but inside you have like lots of space, thanks to this uh, drive-by-wire technology. Something interesting too is that it's a connected car too. So uh, the idea is that the vehicle is able to be connected to the infrastructure and to the other vehicle in order to exchange information. So I will just let it go uh, like that. Uh, it can we can see that it can run a full uh, a full path in the autonomous mode. The idea is that, as I said, the vehicle is connected. So connected means that obviously you're able to uh, surf the internet, you're able to have a point of, inter inter uh, point of interest around you, you are able to uh, have like information on the traffic to optimize your path. But it's not only that to be connected. To be connected is, uh, being, a is uh, being able to provide some information to the environment too. So the vehicle is full of sensors, and those sensors are able to estimate a lot of uh, things in the environment. So the example I always give is that, for example, we have an inertial measurement unit inside the vehicle that is able to measure all the vibration of uh, the body, uh, uh, the structure of the vehicle. So these vibrations are closely linked to the quality of the road. So a city, for example, could use this data in order to have uh, to monitor the quality of its road and in order to target which roads need to be uh, to, to have some work and which roads are sensible, for example, to weather conditions and so on, in order to uh, put a better, uh, uh, I mean, better uh, concrete stuff on it. Or um, the the idea is really that we can monitor everything. Another example is, is that with the lidar uh, that are inside the vehicle, they are accurate enough to monitor the quality and the buildings too. So for example, if a building is moving and so it is uh, about to collapse, the system can detect that there is some differences 
through the time, and so you can monitor that too. So it, it is really able to, to do lots of things and to provide information too. So being connected is not only uh, uh, benefits from the data uh, on the surrounding, it's providing some data too. So that's something important. And well, uh, obviously it's autonomous too, so the idea is that you can uh, drive the vehicle yourself with your own hands or you can like decide to enjoy uh, the, the trip time in order to do something else uh, so that might be important sometimes we, we need uh, we, we spend lots of time in our car so it, it is nice to to uh, to benefits uh, this time in order to do other things so well the idea if you trust us is to test it <laughs> and so to get inside it <laughs> and to, to feel how it, how it is inside the vehicle. So please, welcome us on board.